Hi, how are you? It's a pleasure to be here once again and to talk about God's Word and to start our day meditating on the Word of the Lord. Now, let me ask you this question. Do you know what the talents that you have? Do you know what are the gifts that the Lord has given you? In the Bible, we find a parable in Matthew chapter 25, verses 14 to 30, a parable of Jesus Christ that he was explaining to the people that were listening to him. And in these verses, we are going to find that there was a master, he was going on a journey and he left some talents for his servants. To the first one, he gave five talents. To the second one, he gave two talents. And to the third one, he gave one talent. And they had to trade these talents and to get some profit from it. So the first one who got five talents went and traded the talent and got five more. So he applied and got some interest. The other one, the one who received two, he also traded the talents and got two more. But the last one he dig the talent in the earth and he didn't get anything because he thought that his master was a hard person and he was afraid of losing the talent that his master gave to him. Now, today, the Lord also has given us talents and we need to use these talents for the honor and glory of his name and also to benefit others. You know, when the master came back and asked if they had traded the money or the talents that they received, in verses 21 and verses 23, we find beautiful words that he told the two first servants. And we find these words here. It says, His Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. So these words are repeated twice to the one that received five talents and to the other that received two talents. But to the one actually who was afraid of losing the one talent he received, the words were different and the words were, you wicked and slothful servant, right? And in verse 30 it says, you unprofitable servant, throw him out to the darkness. So we find here that actually the one who didn't use the talents, not even, he didn't even put the, the, the money or the talent to the, to the traders or to the, to the bankers. So to get some interest because he was afraid. Now, what are the talents that you have? It might be, for example, preaching, that is a talent, cooking, singing, to know about music, also teaching, and then the things that you may be studying, if you know about administration, if you know on how to take care of people, those are talents that the Lord wants us to use for His glory and to benefit our neighbors. But if we don't use them, we're going to lose the talent that the Lord has given us. Let's remember this phrase, a talent used is a talent multiplied, but a talent which is not used is a talent which is lost. So. Do you want to lose the talents that the Lord has given you? I don't think we want to lose them. Then we need to work on the talents, use the talents. You may know languages, for example. You can teach the people how to speak different languages. You may know how to read music. So you can go and teach people and then increase the talents, increase your knowledge because while sharing, we increase the talents. While we use the talents, we are actually multiplying what the Lord has given us. And at the end, the Lord is going to tell us, Well done, thou good and faithful servant, because you've used the talent which you have received. Now you will be given more. And you know what happened to the one that received one talent at the end? You know the talent that he hid and then gave it back to the, to the Lord, to the, to the master? Actually, that talent was given to the one that had now 10 talents because the bible says to the one that has it shall give be given more and to the one that doesn't have even the things that he doesn't have will be taken from him so today i want to encourage you as well 
use the talents that the Lord has given you. You may have at least one talent, and if you don't know what that talent is, so I invite you to pray, and the Lord is gonna show you that single talent that you may have. But I personally believe that we don't have only one talent, we have more than one, and the Lord wants us to bless others with the talent that He has given us. So, don't be afraid to use your talent, and the Lord is gonna reward us, and He's gonna tell us, well done, thou good and faithful servant. So, I hope that you have enjoyed this message today. God bless you, and see you next time.